Bizarre Brain Comics. Hello, my comic book friends. Welcome to Bizarre Brain Comics. This is Gary, your host. And this time I want to talk about Daredevil, specifically the Daredevil Special Number 3 from 1971. And this was drawn by John Romita, written by Stan Lee. And this is a, a this special covers the contents of two previous issues of Daredevil. Uh, I couldn't find just which ones they were from probably '65, around in there. And uh, <clears throat> I say that in part here because I'm while I'm at it, talk a little bit about this one here, which is here comes Daredevil, uh, paper, uh, paperback book reprinting the same story and the book is from 1967 so obviously the story had to be from originally from 1967 before 67 and uh, this pits spider-man and daredevil against one another and uh, at this time apparently uh, this is spidey's and dd's second meet up one of the things about the, about the, the the paperback here comes daredevil is it uh, it reprints this story but it's not not a, alone it has two other daredevil stories in it as well but this story is so chopped up uh, entire pages are are thrown out which is from secondary uh, um plot lines and like uh, whole pages like when this <laughs> this starts two and a half pages in on this story <laughs> on this issue here uh, so uh, a lot of superfluous stuff and I imagine some some stuff was done to con condense the plot and uh, then it has and of course it's the artwork of John Romita and it's also got uh, a um, a story of of the origin of Daredevil, drawn by uh, um, um, Bill Everett, and then a third story in there with the uh, the uh, uh, with Daredevil against the the Owl, and uh, that was drawn by um, Gene Colan. So we have have had a lot of different creators involved in that and in, in Daredevil. And of course, at, at this time, in this story, drawn by Jazzy John Romita, this is when, uh, originally when Romita was doing the regular art duties on Daredevil, where he did a, a, a marvelous job. It was some short time, sometime shortly after... Uh, I think after um, um, Wally Wood had taken over, or had left rather, and uh, I think Gene Cullen was in between there too. And then, then John Romita drew drew Daredevil, and this is almost like a tryout to see how John Romita would do on Spider-Man, because I think it was shortly after after this that uh, Steve Ditko left Spider-Man and, and John Romita took over. And, uh, and he, as you can see in these pages, Romita did a marvelous job on, on, on Spidey. And one of the things that is a little, kind of a clue that, uh, which you'll we'll probably see inside here, that... Um, it's still during the Ditko days. Is the extreme density of the uh, the webbing on Spider-Man's costume? Uh, when Romita was doing it reg regularly, he kind of loosened up. Uh, uh, d didn't have as much as many webs on there, 
which probably is extremely time consuming and believe you me I know uh, drawing all those all that webbing it can be difficult so we want to take a little look inside the pages of Daredevil special number three But before we do that, I want to remind you <clears throat> that uh, I'm doing private commissions for character cards. These character cards, uh, these are 5-inch by 8-inch car character cards, which I can depict your favorite characters. Comic book, comic strip, cartoons, original characters, what have you, at a reasonable price. <clears throat> And remember, these are an original and unique piece of artwork that you can keep or give it as a gift to a, f a friend. Contact me below in the uh, in the comments or on my email right here. Daredevil special number three. And this is a great cover by John Romita. It's not just the great figures, but the background. Even though it's it's very subdued, uh, the 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 washed out yellow for for perspective, uh, yeah, for aerial perspective. But you can if you, if you look at it, you can see the great the nice detail, nice perspective on these uh, uh, mid range buildings until they fade into the background to, to be just kind of uh, loose shapes and blobs. That is some, some marvelous work there and, and good good deal of, uh, of linear perspective work. That's some great stuff. And then we take a look inside. I want to try to go through this rather quickly because it's all, all stuff. And there the villain is the masked marauder. He's a, but the uh, the primary claim to any interest in this in these this book is the the battle between Daredevil and Spider Man. Who and but the villain is the masked marauder. And here we see that on the news and stuff that apparently both both Spidey and Daredevil have been inv getting involved with something with this ma uh, crimes being. Per conducted by this Masked Marauder, and as, as a result, the Masked Marauder has come up with a plan to get them both out of the way. He has a bunch of goons dressed up as Daredevil to go out and around the city to try to cause trouble for Spidey. I'm not going to get all intricate details, but the, the goons make attacks on Spidey. Get him. What the heck is going on? Why is there, then they then they get away? So so now Spidey is instead of looking for the Marauder is looking for Daredevil, and, and uh, so when Daredevil goes out, Spidey spots him and and of course, fisticuffs are engaged, and this is all a distraction. So while they're they're fighting one another, and the cops are are trying to. Uh, Keep things under control or around the combat scene. It's a distraction, so for Marauder and his and his goons to go to this um, uh, uh, special lab for uh, automotive research of, of some kind, using some really super high tech stuff. Whoosh! Get in there, steal the plans for a. Uh, some kind of super engine, which he ha wants to use, ha has plans for, and he's got the, but he's got these uh, um, I beams, not I beams, but they're they're lights, flashing lights, uh, on the side of his helmet. I never see what he actually looks like uh, on the side of his helmet, which is temporarily blinds people, and and uh, gives him an advantage. We see that him doing that there to these guards and these guys. So they get away. Boom. 
all in full, everything's planned down to, to the minute on their on their plans. Meanwhile, the guys are here fighting one another. Fight, fight, fight. Uh, they don't bother to stop and talk for a minute. Or when one, one tries to, the other one doesn't want to, and then vice versa. And it, so it looks like DD might have the upper hand here on, on Spidey. And Spidey should notice something because earlier he even comments here uh, that th this line is much stronger than the one that he broke so easily earlier. So while he's kind of trapped there, Daredevil takes off. Then Spidey finally gets the stuff, uh, uh, gets the line separated. And it's all great visual storytelling, the great art. And I think it's, a, it's an interesting plot. It's just that the, the villain is kind of almost irrelevant. Although he's, he is the one behind it all. It's it's the Daredevil and Spider-Man stuff, which are the main thing. And of course, JJJ, uh, Mask Marauder Gang strikes again, and he wants to blame Spider-Man for being in on it. Because, of course, he thinks, uh, Jameson thinks um, Spider-Man is a menace and Daredevil is a hero. <laughs> okay. So... Meanwhile, uh, Spidey swinging through the city trying to find Daredevil and his uh, um, spider sense goes off as he goes by the uh, um, law offices of Murdoch and Nelson and Murdoch. He's, and his spidey sense tells him Daredevil is in here. Of course, since one of them's a woman, one of them's a blind guy, that only leaves uh, Foggy. So he... He tears into Foggy, thinking he must be Daredevil. And none are so blind. <clears throat> and that was one issue. And this is where it gets into the second I issue. And uh, finally talk him down and said, no, he can't be. In, and uh, um, Murdoch reasons with Spidey. And... But Spidey leaves with uh, warning him off, and some personal stuff, interpersonal stuff. I'm not going to get into. Then, when he gets a chance, he takes off his DD to go swing around. He and he goes to the. Uh, he's eavesdropping using his super senses. He's eavesdropping at the, at the corporate offices of, uh, that company that was was robbed of the plans of their super engine, and then discovers that they're. The guys go. Said it's this is terrible, but at least there there is a bit of a re reprieve because there was some special fuel procedure that they didn't get, uh, without which the uh, the engine would be useless to this villain. <clears throat> so that Daredevil knows that, but he he's got a plan. He's got a plan to trap trap Marauder. He goes to J. Jonah Jameson. Tells him about that. And of course, Jameson is blobbing it all over the place. And then Spidey, says, <coughs> Spidey hears that. Says, what the heck is that idiot doing? He's just inviting these these crooks to come back again. Well, yeah, that was the idea. So he gets, he's back to Spidey. The the gangsters are all, all PO'd. So they've got to go back and get it. And uh, this other, other thing will get... So Daredevil and Spidey are each going to be staking this place out. Of course, they they get fight, fight, fight. Daredevil's trying to trying to explain to no, 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 stop it, because they each because Spidey thinks Daredevil's in on it. <clears throat> and more fight, 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 and more of John Romita's beautiful artwork great visual storytelling and then bzz, here comes a, a, a blimp what the heck a blimp yes come flying in with a blimp towards the the that building and then it goes oh world motors yeah that's the name of the place world motors so it just looks like something like the goodyear blimp putting everyone off their guard and like where the heck did he get this all, all of a sudden anyway there they are and they the gangsters are are going in and they're going to do their thing. And, of course, the Marauder uh, 
zaps the the guards and police with their with his um, flashing lights. And meanwhile, it gives Spidey opportunity to come in and start cleaning the house. Boom. And then we have, of course, a couple pages of ads. And Spidey is just tearing into him while Daredevil is holding back to observe, more or less. And fight, fight, fight. He's, Spidey's doing a great job because Daredevil knows, well, he, he doesn't have the opportunity to do as nearly as well against these goons as Spidey does because of his uh, enhanced strength and reflexes. So then, uh, when it goes with the flashy light thing on Spidey and he, Spidey is blind and helpless, that's when Daredevil com comes in and starts taking out the Marauder. Of course, the Marauder, uh, not knowing that Daredevil is already blind, tries to blind him to no effect, and he gets his butt handed to him by, by Daredevil, and uh, using the Marauder's own weapon, he... Uh, actually destroys the blimp to keep the keep the goons from coming back aboard getting back aboard and getting away which that uh, in of itself it could, it could be very disastrous but they just kind of you know and I think they're thinking why would that destroy that only if it was filled with hydrogen which they wouldn't have had it in the first place but anyway it's okay for the story so there they are the cops arrive and uh he explains that to uh, Daredevil explains to the cops that uh, Spidey was a, was a, one of the good guys. He helped catch these guys. There's the, but the Marauder got away because he took the place of one of the one of the cops. And then back with the more interpersonal uh, subplots here with. Uh, um, with Foggy and and Karen Page and Matt Murdock and he all all by himself again, and that's that. It was a f it's a fun read. It's actually a, a fairly well crafted story. Uh, of course, it, it's got its flaws in in some of it, but the overall plot is good, and of course, the visual storytelling is just outstanding by John Romita. Because of course, who was great with his as the kind of art style that was so wonderful for the romance comics and just as just as wonderful for the superhero uh, adventure stuff action and adventure he was just 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 totally there and thank you for joining me please like share subscribe leave a comment and remember comics are art